Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 20 box stiff arm football mixer featuring a hip parade case as well. A lot of great stuff here, all card chip, that's also nice. Big thanks to this group for making it happen, appreciate it. And there are the teams right there. All 32 teams are in, let's roll it and randomize it. One and a five, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. For names and teams, we've got Corey down to Scott. One and a five, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six, we got Buffalo down to the Texans. All right, Corey with the Bills, Scott with the Cardinals, Nicholas with the Chargers, Scott with the Seahawks, Travis with the Bears, Carl with the Raiders, Gabe with the Rams, Nestor with the Lions, Kevin with the Buccaneers, Justin with the Steelers, Eddie with the Vikings, Evan with the Ravens, Scott with the Eagles, Nicholas with the Bengals, Carl with the Dolphins, Nicholas with the Packers, Nestor with the Falcons, Jeff with the Jets, Nestor with the Saints, Nicholas with the Patriots, Travis with the Jaguars, Nestor with the Niners, Corey with the Cowboys, Oscar with the Titans, Peter with the Broncos, Nestor with the Browns, James with the Colts, Nicholas with the uh, Panthers, Last Spot Mojo, Anthony with the Chiefs, Corey with the Commanders and the Giants, and Scott Cooper, Houston Texans. All right, so let's sort by team, and we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. We're going to pause the video. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then the break is what I was going to say. Stick around. BRB. All right, welcome back, everybody. There was some trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done here on a Tuesday night, Tuesday the 28th, here in the stiff arm. That's my stiff arm right there. Football mixer. What's the what's the best stiff arm you've seen in the NFL? I feel like I feel like Derrick Henry in recent years, in recent memory, has laid down some good. Here's Chronicles draft picks. Has laid out some good stiff arms. Nicholas remembers a uh, Marion Barber stiff arm. Marshawn Lynch has dropped some good stiff stiff arms. Yeah, Marshawn Lynch too has some good good stiff arms. All right, so let's get the, uh, we're going to get the two college stuff out of the way first. And we'll have all these assigned to the teams that are on the checklist in 2021. Like Mac Jones will go to, uh, will go to his place. <laughs> Patriots. There's Justin Fields rated rookie. My, my brain's in, in baseball mode right now. Justin Fields for uh, the Bears. Travis has the Bears. We'll do a we'll do a hit recap at the end. Zach Wilson goes to the Jets. Jeff Hen. Jeff with the Jets. J E T S. Jets. 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 And Mac Jones is numbered eighty three to one forty nine. Patriots. Nicholas with the Pats. We got Terrace Marshall Jr. Piece of his jersey for uh, Carolina, I believe. Nicholas with Carolina, last spot mojo. I did see that too, G Lo. G I can't believe we haven't talked about that today. Adrian Peterson and Le'Veon Bell are gonna box, ladies and gentlemen. Did you see this? There's our uh, our Darius Washington autograph. 
um, like a, a proper boxing match. Like it's signed. It's it's not just speculation. I think the deal is done. When is it going to happen? I don't know if they they set a date yet, but I know they're going to do it. I know they signed up for it. Everyone's on board. Everyone's agreed to the terms and conditions. There's recon, Mac Jones. Who's going to win it? Peterson's going to win it? I don't know. Le'Veon Bell is 30 years old. He's a little bit younger than Adrian Peterson, isn't he? Adrian Peterson's 37. It's kind of old, isn't he? 37, but 6'1", 220. Le'Veon Bell is seven years younger, 6'1", 225. They're about the same size, according to Wikipedia. Yeah, don't worry about that, Mac Jones, Corey. Mac Jones apparently has lost a lot of weight in the offseason. It's on a better diet. There's Quiddy Pay. Payday. <laughs> You're right. He does kind of look fatter in this card, right? Maybe he's got like a flak jacket underneath or something. Or was that Zach Wilson who said that? Anyway. So we'll make sure all these go to the, the, the right place. There's Zach Wilson. Another one for the Jets, Jeff, with the Jets. It's got to be the Angles, right? Nico Collins to 99. Diami Brown, autograph for Washington. A lot of numbered cards here. Cards out of the way. Should we post a poll and see what people think? The height weight is according to Wikipedia, by the way. But who wins the boxing match? Adrian Peterson or Le'Veon Bell? They're about the same size. I always thought that, that Adrian Peterson was a little bit, maybe an inch or two taller, maybe five to ten pounds bigger. But I suppose if they're doing a boxing match, they want to get that close as possible. But... All right, some more college -y stuff here than everything else is pro. Corey's putting money on AP. Are there odds out on this yet? This one, there's Mackay Sargent. Terrace Marshall Jr. We got Devontae Adams to 249. Sean Wade from Ohio State, rookie autograph.
Brandon Cooks to 99. Brandon Cooks to 99. Brandon Cooks to 99. Terrace Marshall Jr. to 299. Got a Mac Jones here. And a Chaz Surratt. Purple Cracked Ice. It is 94 out of 99. Another Mac Jones for Nicholas and the Patriots. Chase Claypool to 149. Patrick Sertain. True. AP, Corey saying Adrian Peterson being the league as long as he has. Taking all those hits versus Le'Veon Bell, who's fragile as an egg, tells him everything he needs to know. Although, wasn't wasn't Le'Veon Bell always the kind of guy that was able to uh, was able to kind of use his footwork to kind of stop and then start and dive into some ho footwork's pretty important in boxing. I wonder if that'll help. There's Jamar Watson. Am I located next to the fire station? Corey's asking. What gives you that idea? It's Jamie Newman to 199. And Nico Collins. Uh, 114 out of 149. Drew Locke, Red Wave. Tyson Campbell to 249. Minshew, Collins, and All Americans, Zach Wilson. Just let me separate the college stuff from the pro stuff so they can go all go to the right place. All right, now let's go to 2019 Optic Football. Look at my, yeah, 29 Optic Football. Come on, Corey. It wasn't that funny. Don't don't encourage him. I don't hear anything at all. Yeah, I hear you, Brandon. Drop a couple to the Rockies. I just feel like maybe they they used a lot of uh, emotion. Use up a lot of emotion and intensity in that Atlanta series. And they go into Colorado. Not as sharp. Maybe underestimating the Rockies a little bit. And the Rockies are working uh, extra hard to beat a divisional rival. So it's a bad combination. It's a flat spot, as they say. Corey saying, uh, Corey must not follow baseball very closely. Not a big baseball fan. Dodgers been playing bad as of always. It's false. Got to brush up on that baseball knowledge, Corey. I know that's not your strong suit. There's Alexander Madison, 6 out of 25. Well, I mean, look at their record, Brandon. Look at their uh, run differential, which is pretty excellent. So for a team that's, that, that is maybe perceived as looking a little, looking, maybe looking a little not as sharp as people thought they were going to be, that's pretty good. Imagine when everything's clicking. There's Justin Tucker, the opera singer, to 299.
Juwan Winfrey to 299. There he is again. Never been on the Dodgers. That that might actually that might actually be true. I think the Dodgers are such a public team, Eric, that uh, that their odds will definitely be big favorites a lot of the times. So there's actually a little more advantage going with uh, going with the dog in that situation. It's Carson Wentz to 150 for the Eagles. That'll be for Scott. And we got a hollow rated rookie Hunter Renfro. Could have could be a big season for this guy here. That goes to Carl and the Raiders. There's Aaron Jones to 199. Bet on the Tigers, always underdogs. That's actually not a bad play. I'll bet. I'll bet if you bet. Ooh, from downtown, Joe Montana. Looks like a hyper parallel. For the Niners, Nestor got randomized the Niners. That's exactly what downtown San Francisco looks like. The park, that weird Riney Road. That's in the middle of the park. And then Golden Gate Bridge is like right smack in the middle of there. That's exactly how it looks. Nice. And Tony Pollard to 199 for the Cowboys. Dodgers are minus 290. I... In baseball, anyway, I almost never take any team that's over minus like 110. <laughs> but I was gonna say with like a team like the Tigers that are probably plus 160 to two plus 200 on a nightly basis. Let's go back in time, 2011. You could probably, if you had the discipline, you could probably put like one unit on the Tigers every single game and maybe lose, maybe have like a. 30 or 40 percent winning record but be up a little bit on units i think baseball more than any other sport consistently betting the dogs dogs that have value is probably really the really the best way to go i think yeah that's right rex san francisco bunched up like that it's all bunched up like that I think uh, I think Corey's a Lions guy, Logan. So I don't think he has any love for the Green Bay Packers. Rebel says bet on the Royals to lose. Currently 0 and 22 when losing after the first inning. So like an in-game in-game money line, Rebel suggesting. The only San Francisco I know is from Full Houses, Corey. You've never seen The Rock with Nicolas Cage and Sean Connery? Oh, not a Lions fan, but a Pistons fan. Gotcha. Brandon hasn't seen The Rock. He only smells what The Rock is cooking. All right, we've got some legendary contenders here. Not sure if I was into this landscape mode back in 2011. I don't know how to, how to even got to kind of turn it this way here. There's an autograph for the Seahawks. Alan Bradford. That's for Scott in Seattle. 
He must have gotten traded at some point, yeah. Released and traded. There's old Raider Fred Bolitnikov. There's an autograph for the Falcons. That's Jaquiz Rogers. That's for the ATL, Nestor of the Falcons. And we've got a Delon Carter on card rookie autograph for the Colts. James with Indianapolis. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. And a redemption, unfortunately. It's a 2011 product, so that's going to be expired. But we will still send it to you anyway. Maybe you can get some points out of there. Uh, RPS Rookie Tickets, card 214. That is Stephen Ridley, card 214. Steven Ridley in 2011 was a Patriot. So Nicholas will send this to you. Got a Buccaneers autograph. That is Mason Foster the People. That will be for Kevin and the Buccaneers. Yeah, I hear you, Corey. The design of this contender is it's a little busy, right? Let's contract. Let's compare that to 2016 contenders. So this is 2011, 2011. So that's a little while ago. Let's see how the design has changed. Five years later. I think this is a retail box, by the way. So. I don't think we're going to see guaranteed autos in here. A lot cleaner, right? I think they cleaned it up over the years. <laughs> well, 2011 Contenders is only rough looking back with hindsight. But I'll, I'll bet people, if they got a Steven Ridley, they would have been pretty excited. I mean, this draft class is actually pretty decent at the time. Cam Newton, Vaughn Miller, A.J. Green, Julio Jones, Alden Smith even before, before all of his troubles. J.J. Watt was in that draft class. Andy Dalton. People were fired up about Andy Dalton back in 2011. Even in subsequent years, too. DeMarco Murray would have been really hyped at the time. That still might not have been the best box even back in 2011, but there were some names in 2011. Jordan Cameron. I think 16 is uh, your Goff year, right? Goff Wentz. Yeah, Goff Wentz, Joey Bosa, Ezekiel Elliott, et cetera, et cetera. That's, that's that year.
But Contenders is a lot like, like Bowman Draft. You know, there's going to be a ton of autos in there. Sometimes they're not going to be all the best. But if you get that one, that, that the, the right rookie, and that turns out to be the player of that draft, people are going to be looking for the Contenders version of it. You know, people are going to be uh, looking for the Contenders version of it or the, you know, the Bowman Draft version of it. Yeah, that 2011 was a hobby box. This 2016 is a retail box, so we're not going to see guaranteed autos here. Got a nice Patriots Brady in here in 2016. Do left right randomizers on that. I think all card chip in this anyway. Corey says, uh, get get who off the Lions? I thought you weren't a Lions fan. He says, get Jared Goff off the Lions. ASAP, he's got small hands. Uh, Jared Goof, he likes to call him. For someone who's not a Lions fan, you seem to care about them a lot. Jameis Winston, MVP contenders. So not too much in the retail box here. This was the year where they, they, really, they really overloaded. Subsequent years, they started uh, putting less of that stuff in there. All right, let's move on to, I guess let's go back in time a little bit. Let's go to, uh, this, this is 2015, Rookies and Stars. This is back in the day when they really made this big bulky box. You'd even take car over goof. That's that's really not a hot take. Cold take. Cold take. It's the hottest take, says Corey. Todd Gurley. Dress for success. That's for the Rams. That is for Gilo and the Rams. Adrian Peterson, the boxer. Uh, according to our poll posted about 20 minutes ago, 75% of voters are taking Adrian Peterson in that boxing match between him and Le'Veon Bell. There's Mike Evans to 299. 
There's Garrett Grayson for the Saints. I think he's kicking around the league somewhere still, right? Saints, Nestor. Rashad Green, David Johnson. That's a, that's a cool looking, some cool looking photography there. Matt Ryan to 99, and Leonard Williams for the Jets. Piece of his jersey. It's kind of weird. It's going to be kind of weird seeing him in a Colts uniform. That. Is it Jalen Strong, rookie die cut? I'm not sure what Gurley's up to these days. Maybe... Uh, Maybe coaching a high school team or something like that. There's Josh Robinson to 299. Out of 99, Chris Conley die cut. And a rookies and stars randomizer between the Eagles and the and the Rams. Some Palmer Cardinals edition. There's Jesse James, the outlaw. Rookies and stars autograph for Pittsburgh. That's going to be for Justin and Jesse James. It's Kevin Coleman to 299. Taylor Heineke, Vikings edition to 50. Danielle Hunter autograph to 99 for Minnesota. That will be for Eddie H. Matthew Stafford, Rookies and Stars die cut. Yeah, the Wikipedia really doesn't have anything on uh, on Todd Gurley. Last time he played was in 2020. He was he was uh, he was with uh, Atlanta in 2020, but no word on. Yeah. In the personal life section, as of 2018, he hosted a literacy initiative in partnership with Pizza Hut, and that's about it. Nothing, nothing, nothing else. It's Adrian Peterson. Yeah, that, that, that shelf life, the average shelf life for, for running backs is not very long. But guys like, you know, guys like Adrian Peterson rarity these, these days. So now we've got 2014. 2014 Crown Royale football. Exactly, dude. Yeah, that's why they don't go in the first round anymore. And Frank Gore, right? There's another one that has longevity, but. Yeah, and you got, yeah, you're right, Logan. You got guys like Reggie Bush, who's kind of grinded out a 10 plus year career. But we're talking like at a, I mean, Adrian Peterson was an elite level running back for a long time. And even, even after those knee injuries, he still came back strong. He's Odell Beckham Jr. Ninety one out of one ninety nine. Corey's asking who's gonna be the new era AP Frank War? I don't think there's gonna be. At least at least uh, I mean, you know, I believe that things run in cycles, so maybe we'll we'll come back to an era of of that someday. But as of now, I don't think there's gonna be. A lot of teams are committed to running back by committee, finding value, middle rounds and stuff like that. 
I mean, there may be a running back that has a great year here and there, but in terms of long-term sustainability. Yeah, I guess the closest would be Derrick Henry, but even he proved to be mortal last year. There's Joyke Bell to 199. There's rookie die cut Derek Carr could have a big season this year. Being the big bruiser backs back. Gilo is saying, I don't I don't think they're being developed like that anymore from 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 Pop Warner through high school through college. Goes to the Raiders, Carl and the Raiders. Now we've got 2016 playbook football. All right, we've got a redemption down here. We've got a Jordy Nelson over here to 199. Paxton Lynch, 80 out of 149. Two color dual relic. And the redemption is Gary Barnage, X's and O's signature. Again, expired, but that'll go to the Falcons. Back in 20, what year is this? 2014? 2016 playbook? He would have been a Brown in 2016. Cleveland, this is for you. Nestor with the Browns. All right, 2021 limited football. Lynch or Locke, neither. I think they're going with uh, Geno Smith to start week one. God. Ooh. Justin Fields. Nice. One out of 25. Three color patch and autograph. Not too shabby. That is for Travis and the Bears. Nice. We got Kenneth Murray, limited ink for the Chargers, 20 out of 25. There you go, yeah, good eye. Oliver, jersey number for the Justin Fields. There's Kenneth Murray for the Chargers. That will be for Nicholas and the Bolts. To 149, DJ Shark and Melvin Gordon III, Stadium Stars, two color patch. For Denver, it's Peter with the Broncos. And that is 12 out of 49. All right. 
gold standard. That is 2019 gold standard football. All right, there's Kirk Cousins to 75. Behind Matthew Stafford is Harrison Smith. White gold relic, three out of 49 from Minnesota. Eddie. Gold rush, Keenan Allen. Piece of his jersey, 125 out of 199. Nicholas with the Chargers. Trayvon Mullen Jr., autograph, 45 out of 199. Golden rookies for my Raiders. And that will be for Carl. Yeah, I don't like the eBay one of one either. Technically, every single card is an eBay one of one. That's an eBay one of one. 45 out of 199. eBay one of one. Miles Sanders. Here's another one. 85 out of 99. eBay one of one. Jersey and autograph. Miles Sanders going to Scott Cooper and the Eagles. 42 out of 99 to eBay one of one, Matthew Stafford. And Charles Haley, gold scripts autograph, 40 out of 49. Gold ink autograph for Dallas, that's gonna be Corey and the Cowboys. All right, now we're getting into the good stuff here. Made some solid stuff here. Now the even better stuff. A slider box for that dual relic book. I'm trying to ruin the eBay one of one fun. Definitely not fun anymore. That's right, Corey, you're an eBay one of one. There's only one of you. This is 2022 um, Hit Parade Football Limited Edition, Series 4. Case 5 out of 10. Uh, every card's an eBay 101, Logan. I, I, I'd lose my voice within the first, first hour of the day or after the first break. All right. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, I love this hit parade, David. Let's go. We got my rivals, Denver Broncos, Javante Williams. Three-color patch and autograph from Spectra Football. 29 out of 35. That's for Denver. It's for Peter. Remember, limited edition is their, is their base level, and then I think platinum edition is their middle level, and then sapphire, I think, is their top level. And emerald is in there somewhere. Right. Yeah, this is a nice repack product, Nicholas. Hit Parade, the team. We've met the team at Hit Parade before. Really nice people here. Yeah, they, they scour the country, and then they, uh, they, they, look for, uh, they look for a bunch of hits, buy back a lot of stuff, and then repack them into these products and send them back to us here. All right. We've got a Joe Mixon, 24 out of 25. It looks like the piece of his helmet right there, patch. 
Nice black ink on there, impeccable. Always looks cool. Bengals, that's going to be for Nicholas. We're on to Cincinnati. We're on to Cincinnati. We're on to Cincinnati. We're on to Cincinnati. And Vested Veterans, Aaron Rodgers, jersey and autograph from Spectra Football. That's five out of seven. Nice low number on that one. Green Bay, Nicholas with the Packers. You want that job buying cards, Gilo? It's got you. Got to you. Got to be sharp and up to date on all the values of all the cards and be a good good negotiator, good dealer, and then be able to demonstrate that you can make a profit off of that. You can start by working, moving out here, working for Jaspies, work your way up. Davis Mills. Could be an interesting one this year. Ink blots autograph. It's like 79 out of 99. For Houston, Scott Cooper. I think they're going to start the season with him, QB1. <laughs> no, not really, Corey. At least, at least Nick Jaspi and the Hit Parade guys. Are really nice. There can there can be a holes though. All right. Next up is Debo Samuel, two color patch and autograph. He's not going anywhere, is he? Niners fans. Nestor with the Niners. Are we hiring? Not specifically at the moment. Our, our ears are open. And it's Nestor with the Niners. Next one is goes this way. Landscape mode. Whoop. Zach Wilson, forty nine out of ninety nine jersey and autograph. Zach Wilson. Jeff with the J E T S Jets Jets Jets. Another one in landscape mode. It is a Monra St. Brown two color jersey and autograph. 144 out of 199 from Panini One Football. Detroit, Nestor, and the Lions. Three boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. Next one, Nick Chubb from Origins. Cleveland, this is for you. 90 out of 99. Nice looking one for, that's Nestor with Cleveland. Man, Nestor cleaning up a lot. His hit parade here. I'm calling his number a lot, nice. Two more to go. Now in the limited edition, you generally Generally, you don't see graded cards as often. It's one of the main differences. Sometimes they'll throw one in there. All right. We have, could be a big year for Daniel Jones. 21 out of 50, rookie auto, Daniel Jones. I think this is probably a make or break year for him. Uh, New York football giants, Corey. It's one to hold on to, see what happens. All right, and the final box. Good luck, ladies and gents.
And the last one is going to be Cooper Cup. Rookie auto. Cooper Cup from Rookies and Stars. 17 out of 25. That is Logan with the Los Angeles... No, it's Gabe with the Los Angeles Rams. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo for G-Lo. I think he got a big contract recently, too. And there you go, gang. That is the break. Let's do a couple randomizers here. All right, so let's flip back over here. Uh, that was a nice little mixer there. We'll do a left-right randomizer for those contenders round numbers cards. And then we had that Rookies and Stars patch that featured two different teams. DeMarco Murray, Philadelphia edition. Todd Gurley, Rams edition. Let's roll it and randomize it. Two and a three, five times. Team on top after five. One, two, three, four, and five. After five, left side, we'll get those. Two and a three, five times. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. Philadelphia, we'll get that one. Corey, I, I told you at least two or three times what teams you have. You had the Bills, you had the Cowboys, you had the Giants, and you had the Commanders. I showed it to you on the screen. I read it out when I did the randomizer. And then when you asked again, I showed it to you again on the screen. And then I showed it to you again just now. Remember, you do have a DVR function, Corey. You can always rewind and then see your teams and you can write them down too if you wanted to. And Joe Montana downtown was nice. There's the Justin Fields. And here are your hit parade cards again. And there you go. And we just did a recap, Corey. So you don't have to worry about short-term memory loss. I did that recap for you as well. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was a fun break. That was a 20-box stiff arm. Football Mixer from jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.